Rich, thank you so much. Well, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton reached a deal this morning to drop the felony securities fraud charges against him. That is contingent upon Paxton doing 100 hours of community service, 15 hours of legal ethics training, and paying just under $300,000 in restitution to the people he's accused of defrauding. KXN's Monica Madden joins us live now from Houston. And Monica, you were inside the courtroom this morning. Quite the abrupt ending to a case that's lasted almost a decade now. That's right, Mike. This case has been hanging over the attorney general's head since before his days as attorney general, stemming from a summer 2015 uh, series of indictments. Now, if Paxton were to have been convicted of these security fraud felony charges, he could have faced years, decades in prison. So this comes as another major win for Paxton, the second big win within recent months after he was exonerated in his Senate impeachment trial on separate allegations. Look, we're glad to have this matter behind us. This case has been pending longer than the Beatles were together, literally. It's been nine years, and today marks the end of what, in our opinion, should have happened a long time ago. We're glad to have this behind us. 18 months from now, or perhaps shorter, the case will be dismissed. There will never be a conviction. Paxton's lawyers and prosecutors presented the deal to Judge Andrea Beal in a very brief hearing this morning. Worth noting that this was not a plea deal. The attorney general maintains his innocence but did not have to enter a plea. This is rather a pre-trial intervention, stopping the April trial from ever taking place. Now, the big question today was why make a deal when just weeks prior, Special Prosecutor Brian Weiss said he had absolutely no interest in that. Weiss saying this was the best way to get justice for the big victims through direct payments. I think the agreement that we've reached today underscores the fact that justice was not denied. All of these people have registered their monumental displeasure at what happened in these cases, I submit, probably should have been directed at the ballot box. Now, Paxton cannot use campaign funds or taxpayer dollars to pay that $271,000 restitution. That's the rough amount. Paxton must fulfill all of his terms in order for this deal to be upheld. So he's got to do that community service, has to do that training, and has to pay the restitution within 18 months. Otherwise, this very well could end up going back to a trial. So that is contingent upon this. And also worth pointing out, Paxton's going to have to be doing regular Zoom meetings with the prosecutors, checking in so they can make sure that he is upholding his end of the deal. Mike, Jen.